So it was May 2025, the month where AI application development became real and really started to move forward. The answer is yes. Last week, we saw the announcement of Codex from OpenAI. This week at Google I.O., we saw Jules come out. These are agentic application frameworks where you can delegate entire pieces of work to an agent as if it was a coworker versus just a chatbot type of scenario. But the most significant and most promising may be GitHub's co-pilot agent mode. Like those other tools, it works with GitHub to take code and begin to move it through a full workflow process autonomously without much help from the human. But if the agent does need help, it will come back and ask the human for help in terms of clarification and in terms of direction as to what to do for a next step at times when the agent can't do it itself. But Microsoft is really taking this kind of a whole step forward by looking at the entire software development lifecycle and building agents across the whole span. So in addition to what you have with agent mode in the VS Code and GitHub Copilot, you also now have something really powerful called the SRE agent, which is for site reliability. So it's doing observability within your footprint, looking at all your containers and figuring out what's going on. And if a problem begins to emerge, it can actually take action autonomously or at least come up with a set of recommendations for somebody to go execute upon more further diagnosis. The last piece, which is a little counterintuitive is you also have a preview in Microsoft Copilot 365 for other types of agents which help for the non-technical parts of the development lifecycle, like researcher for doing competitive analysis and market fit, and facilitator for managing your scrum meeting and handing out action items to make sure they're getting executed. Overall, Microsoft's holistic view of this whole thing may be the game changer in all of these significant movements in the AI tooling and AI development space.